totally achievable eliminate as much distraction as possible hey guys welcome back my name is amy if you're brand new here and in today's video i wanted to share with you my updated luxury wish list and how it aligns to my mindset goals so recently on the luxury live show that i co-host with kat i had shared that my main focus this year is definitely fine jewelry curating a wardrobe that is mostly consisting of simple and yet classic pieces same thing for handbags where less is more and most importantly, my health. Up to 70 million people in the USA suffer from some sort of sleep disorders. I'm definitely one of those people in the world and if you are too, then I want to show you how switching to a simple silk pillowcase and comforter can really elevate your sleeping experience. I know you've probably heard about this company a million times, but I promise you that this will be worth your while. Thank you to Momsa for sponsoring this part of the video and by supporting them, you guys are supporting me. I'm very, very grateful for that. This is their bestseller queen size 22 mom silk pillowcase. 22 mom is so much more durable. It's also thicker, super easy to care for. All I do is throw it in the washing machine at a very light, delicate cycle on cold wash and line dry. So this is how it looks like in my pillow. I do use an orthopedic pillow, which is why there's so much more fabric. I have not slept on a cotton pillow for years because even when I travel, I have to bring a silk pillowcase with me. By the way, they're doing their Valentine's Day promotion, so definitely take advantage of it. And you can also use my coupon code AMY15 to save 15% at checkout. Next, I wanted to bring your attention to the all season silk comforter. It's like bringing the five star hotel bed to your home. It is weighted, but not too heavy, handmade with 100% pure natural long strand silk so the filling never shifts the outer shell is a high quality cotton silk is a natural temperature regulating material it's hypoallergenic so if you're not using it you can put it back in its dust bag my mom was the one who bought me my first silk comforter and it's so expensive when i looked at the price of the mom silk ones which are so much better quality i was shocked at how affordable they are my suggestion is that if you only want to get one thing to try out get the pillowcases. But of course, if you're looking for an upgrade for your bedroom, get the comforter. That's literally the ultimate upgrade. This is their short pajamas in extra small size. In the color emerald green, it has notch lapels, mother of pearl buttons. It has an elasticated waist, super comfortable, very lightweight. And I only travel with silk pajamas nowadays because they pack so easily. They're super thin, breathable. Their prices are very competitive because they go from factory to consumers directly. There is no middleman. It's a responsible company that was founded by women for women in 2014. They work with the Southern California Goodwill group to donate back. So I'll have all the products that I mentioned linked down below as well as my coupon code. And thank you again for watching this portion of the video. So I have a total of nine items on my wish list this year, which I think is very reasonable, totally achievable as long as I am able to get a hold of those items. Whether I get all of those this year or not is not really the issue, but at least I have my goals set on those items and I should be able to eliminate as much distraction as possible. Like I mentioned earlier, find jewelry for me has been kind of like a big deal discovery for me because I love them so much. They give me so much joy. I get so much cost per wear for them. Therefore, I want to expand on it. I am looking to add another bracelet, whether I wear on this arm or this arm. I want it to be kind of versatile, a much more substantial piece because this piece was definitely a great piece and it was a very, very good first starter beginner's piece for me that gave me a good idea of how it feels to have a bracelet on my arm 24 7. I never remove this, I shower with this, and I sleep with this, and it's been great. So I just need to find something else that not only complements this bracelet, but that can also be easily worn on this arm with maybe an, a watch such as this one or my Apple watch. I might have already mentioned in the past that I am still eyeing the Tiffany lock bracelet. I have tried it a few times. I've also tried it in Hawaii. I love it, but I have other contenders. I'm still kind of eyeing the Kelly bracelet. I don't know if I'm going for the bangle or for the chain version. There's a chain version, which is very, very pretty. Those are never in stock, so I could never really try them on, which is kind of the problem that Hermes has constantly. They never have anything in stock, so um, I'm not giving up on that one, but it just might be 
a purchase that will come when stock becomes available. Another piece of jewelry that I would love to add this year is another stacking ring. So I already have quite a few rings for my right hand. I have other ones that I also wear less often, but they're there, it's part of my collection. Now, I just wanna add another ring that will go on my index finger. So currently, I wear my wedding rings all the time, and this ring is very pretty. It's from Ana Luisa. I like this whole look, but once in a while, I'd be like, hmm, I wish I had a more substantial something on this index. So I am always on the lookout. Jewelry-wise, we'll stop there because I'm pretty sure I'll add more than just two pieces of jewelry this year, but I want to at least get those two out of the way this year. I might be adding necklaces and stuff like that, but it's not a must. I do have quite a few bags on my wish list. I think they're realistic. Now, you just never know, right? You don't know if you will be lucky enough to get offered them or to be able to get your hands on one. So I'll just put it out there on the universe. First and foremost, the Mina Lindy being at the top of the list. I have all these amazing hand-carried bags and I have these amazing Chanel bags, mini bags, but the Mini Lindy for me is sort of that sister or brother of them that is on the casual side but super easygoing and also Hermes craftsmanship. I would love it in a neutral color, not black though because I have enough black bags as it is. So hopefully I'll get a color that I don't already have. The next bag that I would really want on my wish list is technically not a bag but I will treat it as one because the price tag is there and also there is a strap so it's kind of like a bag. The Constance Wallet to go. I think it's a stunning classic piece. I have not really seen it in person aside from a display crocodile Constance Wallet that um, my store had on, you know, behind the glasses. It was a red color. It was gorgeous. I could see the size of that Constance Wallet. I think they are similar. There are a couple of main differences for me that really sealed the deal for the Hermes version. First of all, the strap is a lot shorter. The Chanel one has always had had a long, long strap, and I'm not a fan of doubling up the chain. I just don't like it. I know you can do it. I just never do, and I'm not a fan. Now that I'm kind of like the nano bag queen, a wallet with a chain type of bag size is actually a good size bag for me. Those are two of the non-quota bags that I would really, really want to get my hands on this year. At least one of them would be great. I know that these non-quota bags are sometimes harder to get than quota bags in, in Hermes, which is so ridiculous, but it has come to that now. Um, so Hopefully at least one of those, but hopefully both of those. I'll mention two more non-quota bags, but those are more lower on the list and it's just nice to have if I can get them. I would definitely love a bolid, but a mini size. I will be a bit picky about this one though. I kind of want it in a specific leather too, so if they don't come exactly as I want, I won't be taking it just because I know how hard they are to come by, so I don't want to just accept any. I want another 18 size picotin because I I love the black one that I have and it's amazing. It's the touch version. I was almost too lazy to go grab it, but this is the version that I have and I absolutely, absolutely am crazy about this bag, but I love this bag so much that I want to get a second one. I just want it in a bright, bright color, something white or very light gray. I would love that. And it doesn't necessarily have to have touch. I just want a regular size, uh, I mean, a regular leather, uh, this size picota in in a different color because I like this bag so much and this bag is To be honest if they don't make any Birkins or Kelly's this bag is sort of like my favorite style It's a very simple construction, but it's a very classy uh, Simple elegant bag as well. So it's got a lot of great qualities to this style um, and plus it's just it's just so cute too at the same time and it fits a lot I, I really, really enjoyed this bag, so I would love to get a second one of these. The quarterback offer that I would love, love to get. In fact, I'm just gonna put it out in the universe that I am getting this year, not just love to get. I am actually getting it this year. Fingers crossed. Would be the mini Kelly. Yes. 
I know, everyone wants a mini Kelly, including me. I have the Birkin 25, I have the Kelly 25. They're amazing bags. I cannot ask for better bags for my first two years. Now that I'm on my third year of this Hermes journey, I really want a mini Kelly because I have all these sort of medium size hand carry bags and they are great because they fit a lot more. I would say that the Birkin and this fits around the same same capacity, which is great. It's really a good size bag. But knowing me, I I actually do wear my nano size or tiny, tiny little bags quite often. It would be a must in my collection, I have to say. I know, I know. I've been really, really focused on Hermes this past couple years and much, much less on Chanel. I still love Chanel. Okay, I do. I'm just really focused this year because I cannot be spending money left and right, you know what I mean? So I just feel like I have this season of focusing on what I want to build now. Uh, previous years were very much focused on Chanel and then before that it was LV and others. Having said that, one bag that really sort of got away from me, although it wasn't really my fault, is the Chanel 22 bag. I miss it so much. It's a bag that I don't think any other brands can really replace. I think maybe the YSL eye care tote kind of came close to it just because of its gigantic size, easy going style. But there is something about the Chanel 22 that you just, you can't get. Um, the chain probably, the chain aspect, the fact that it's so sort of like grungy, nonchalant, uh, who cares type of look. Um, Maybe also the fact that a lot of people don't like it and I never really went by that to to define my style. So, um, you know, I like what I like. I know what's good. That would be a bag that I would love to add back. Is it going to be 2023? Maybe. Again, my list is quite big as it is already and fine jewelry and these non-quota bags pre-spend is already taking up a lot of my <laughs> my concentration focus and monetary resources so i just don't know for sure if i if i will necessarily add it this year but if an opportunity arises right let's just say if i go on this amazing european trip then yeah why not i would definitely seize that opportunity another wish list item that i'm adding which has nothing to do with handbags or jewelry uh, or clothing for that matter is another bed i know i just talked about a bunch of beddings and silk pillowcases which are essential i already have those things and i'm always happy to add more especially this king size comforter is great because the one that i have is actually a queen size so um it's a little bit on the smaller side we manage but you know it's actually a queen size because my mom got me the wrong size just like anything that you use every day they do sort of have wear and tear, right? Even for bed frames and beds and mattresses, they do have wear and tear. You just don't notice it on the daily, of course, because they last for years and years on end. This year is my 10 year anniversary with my husband and um, I've had this bed longer. And so I will say that, um, yeah, I think it's about time to change the bed, especially the mattress. But I have to do some research, not just the generic that you can just buy at any mattress store. I really want one that is proven to helping you fall asleep, helping you stay asleep, and the material is non-toxic, more of a specialty mattress, something that is really researched. So I don't have one in mind right now. I have insomnia, my dad has insomnia, and even people that I know that don't have insomnia, they snore all day long. I feel like buying a mattress is so much harder to get right because if you get it wrong you're stuck with a huge piece of furniture that is you know even if they have let's say even if they have a return policy it's such a hassle to return because it's so bulky and heavy and so if you have any any great suggestions whether it's a brand that i have 
access to or not, just send them my way because I will research this and I will figure this out. <laughs> These are basically my most important things that I want to tackle this year. I'm putting it out there in the universe and I'll do my best and I will also um, have faith <laughs> that things will work out. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this updated wish list and share with me also in the comments what is your wish list? At least one of your most important wish list item this year that you want to achieve. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Also for the ultimate exclusive members only experience, you can join my channel membership to get access to members only live streams, behind the scene unboxings and story time. All the links will be down below. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon.